Hey everyone, this is the Reaper Session I used to record Linux Gamecast. I have EQs, compressors, limiters, and gates, but hiding in this forest of Linux native plugins is a D-Clicker. It's a Windows plugin running through Wine. Wine has been running Windows apps on Linux for about 30 years now. It's a great way to play your games, but you can also use it to run your Windows audio plugins under Linux. And that brings us to Yabridge, an application that lets you do just that. Before we do any of that, we need to head over to winehq.org and install Wine Staging. I will show you how to do that in Debian. First thing we need to do is add the 386 arch if you don't already have that enabled. Now we're going to grab the WineHQ keyring and add the WineHQ repository. We'll give that an update and go ahead and install WineHQ staging. And it's cool if you already have Wine installed since dependency resolution will go, you know, brr, and kind of take care of it for you. Back on the Yabridge GitHub, let's go ahead and download the latest release, and we're going to extract that to local share in our home directory. Now let's crack open the terminal and head to the Yabridge directory. I'm going to make another directory called Win Plugins to store the executables. This isn't required, but that's how I keep organized. We're going to need a Windows plugin, so let's go ahead and download the FabFilter bundle and give that a try. The first thing we have to do is install it using Wine like normal, and I think I'm going to try out the ProQ VST3. Back in the terminal, we got to use Yabridge CTL to scan the Windows VST3 directory. Then we're going to use it again to sync the plugins. And you're going to want to pay attention to your plugin format since the paths are going to be different for VST2, VST3, and Clap. Here we are back in Reaper. Let's go ahead and do a search for Fab, and we can add the VST3 that we just installed. Now let's drop in some audio, click play. Simple as that. ProQ is being just as pro -y and QE as it is on Windows. There is a little bit of a downside though. Running Windows plugins under Linux, it does come at a cost. On the bottom, we have Rough Rider 3. It's running natively on Linux, and you can see the RTCP usage, it's around 4%. FX CPU is about 0.05. Now compare that to the Windows version running through Wine. It's averaging about 7% RTCPU usage and 0.15% on the FX CPU. And while one plugin isn't really that big a deal, 20 of them might be, and that's something to keep in mind. Now we need to talk about compatibility. Bitvig and Reaper, they have the highest level of compatibility, while Audur kind of struggles with anything that's not a VST2. And no, your Waves plugins aren't going to work that well, if at all. But what about the plugins you use? The easiest way to check your plugin compatibility is to follow this simple equation. That's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the written guide over on interfacinglinux.com. And if you have any questions about your Linux setup, feel free to ask in the forums. I'm here to help.